NFL Week 2 props with Tom the Hitman, and we're going back to it. David Njoku for a second week in a row. Last week was out there on the field a lot, but not much production. This week against the New York Jets, you're expecting different. Let's break this one down and what gets you back on the Joku this week as well. Yeah, so David Njoku over 23 and a half receiving yards. This line closed 34 and a half last week. And obviously he had one target. It was very disappointing, but I'm not going to let one bad game affect my opinion that much. I mean, he led the Brown skill position players in snaps. He's paid as a top five tight end in the league. And Jacoby Brissett targets tight ends at a top three rate. This is a player that I expected to have a breakout season coming into the year. And I'm not going to let one bad game influence my opinion for this upcoming week. This seems like a bet you can kind of lean into. I get that impression. And you kind of lit up there at the start. But like this is a significant non-adjustment or adjustment down. It's from 23 and a half. You said last week, 34 and a half. Does the full game total being so short play into this? Like why, despite the snap count and how many routes he ran last week, why are we seeing this so low? Just an ineffective game from him, him last week. And like we said, it closed 34 and a half last week. And I think that's something that's important as a better is just don't let one negative result influence you for the rest of the season. You'll hear a lot of people, if they bet on a spread pick, for example, if they bet on uh, never doing Cardinals, it again. Yeah. <laughs> if they bet on the Cardinals last week, they're saying, oh, I'll never bet on the Cardinals again. They, they lost by 30 points to Kansas City. Well, you can't think that way. A lot of times when there's a result like that, there is value the next week. So that's where I'm leaning with Njoku. Njoku over 23 and a half receiving yards, minus 115, the prop pick from the hitman himself.